Good morning. Today I'm sporting extremely exotic hair. That's from the motorbike ride that I had earlier. I am midway through my journey from Mobile to Panglao in Bahol. So, so far today I've got a motorbike from my hostel to the bus stop and then a two, three hour bus from Mobile to Cebu City, a taxi to the pier where I am now and I got a taxi all the way in and it turns out you can't buy a ticket actually inside the terminal. You have to buy it from outside. So be aware of that as you do get in. I just actually got approached by a porter to go and buy my ticket for me which cost me 400 pesos from Cebu City to Taglaban in Bahol. And you have to give over your ID and your money which is a little bit sketchy but it's done now. He did come back. I think it cost me 100 pesos for me to use him. Got a ticket, it was legit and I am heading over to Bohol at 1 o'clock. I'm now in the departure area for where you get the boat to, uh, I keep forgetting what it's called, Tag Bilaran. Tag, Tag Bilaran. It's pretty stressful because you have to go through security and baggage drop and check in, the same as you do at an airport but I was not prepared for it and you have to pay porter's fees to kind of anyone who speaks to you which took me by surprise every time because people are just kind of demanding money off of you left, right and centre. It's not very expensive, the last one was just 50 pesos but um, kind of pissed me off a little bit because you're not expecting it. But it's done now and I'm checked in and ready to depart. Crazy hair continues. Just landed at Tagliban City. Tag Tagliberan, I don't know how to say it, city in Bahol. Just waiting for my bag to be unloaded from the boat and then I've got to find a tricycle over to Panglao Island where I have one night booked so far but I don't know how long I'm going to stay there. I've got quite a few of these now but everywhere you go in Asia the transport is slightly different. In the Philippines the most common is a trike. This is what it looks like. It's essentially just a motorbike attached to a sidecar. All right, I am all checked in and everything is unpacked and stuff's on charge, so I'm organized and feeling somewhat less stressed after a somewhat stressful traveling day. I've also had a shower and I'm clean, which is remarkable because that doesn't happen very often. So now I'm just gonna go grab some food and I think I'm gonna have a chilled one in the hostel for the rest of the day. I got some editing and stuff to catch up on and just bits and bobs that I need to sort out before starting my proper Bohol adventure. Good morning from sunny Bahol. Today we have rented a minivan for the day and got a load of people from the hostel together and we are going to go see some of the top sites that Bahol has to offer such as the Chocolate Hills which are apparently green this time of year rather than brown because they burn in the summer and the Tazier monkeys which are a special breed of monkey that can only be found here on Bahol and they are extremely endangered and very very adorable and finally a waterfall. I don't know what the waterfall is called but I'm sure I'll find out at some point. We're paying 200 pesos each to rent a van and there's 12 of us, which isn't bad. I was going to go do the Chocolate Hills on a motorbike, but a motorbike for the day is about four, 500 pesos. So it works out a little bit cheaper to do it this way and at least this way I'm being somewhat sociable. We have just arrived at the Chocolate Hills, which is about just short of two hours drive away from Panglao where we're staying. But it was a bit of a bumpy journey, so glad to be out the minivan, but actually he said he only wants to stay for about 15, 15, 20 minutes. I'm not sure how much there is to see here, but it is pretty nice. Um, we thought we booked a driver for the day to take us wherever we wanted, but it turns out um, he thinks that we've booked a tour. Everyone wants to go to a waterfall and now we're not going. Shit is about to hit the fan. We don't know what's going to happen. Plot twist, after much arguing and about six phone calls and three pullovers, we are now at uh, Kawasan. What, what, what's it called? Pangas Falls, not Kawasan. That was somewhere else. So we're going to go take a look, explore, maybe have a little swim. I don't think... I don't think we're in the good books of the tourist company right now because there was a lot of arguing. It's okay. It's fine. We're having to pay extra 300 pesos, but really that's nothing. Whoa, look at this place. Lunch time. After a nice time at the waterfall, we have come to a local eatery to find out 
how the Filipinos have lunch in style. So they ran out of vegetables at that place, so I had a lunch of pretty much just rice and chili sauce, but uh, I live to see another day. Next up on our Boho countryside tour is seeing the Tazier monkeys. They can only be found here in Boho and they are extremely rare and extremely cute. This is what they look like. They've got crazy big yellow eyes. Okay, now we're just following this trail in search of the Tazier monkeys. Here it is. Here is the Tazier monkey. Can't really see its eyes because they are closed right now. It's having a little snooze. But apparently this one is seven years old and a fully grown adult. Look at that, so cute. It's got bony little fingers. I just found out that the Tazier monkeys are in fact nocturnal, which is why they are all fast asleep. And this is the fully grown adult size. It's not much bigger than a tennis ball. And when they're a baby, it's about the size of a thumb, which is pretty crazy. The light's not great, so you can't really see, but here there are two little babies sleeping together. Oh. I think I'm gonna buy this ultra glamorous hat because it's very spring summer 2018. Tazier monkey, come through. Apologies, I was mistaken. This is the hat for me. Wow, a true icon. I also just learned that the Tazier monkey is the smallest primate in the world, which is cool. Next up, Sipatan Twin Hanging Bridge, a bridge made of bamboo slats um, that are interwoven to connect two little villages on the way to the Chocolate Hills. Get my Birkenstocks, clock it. The bridge is nice and bouncy, which makes everyone feel super safe. It's really pretty though. We just obstructed the bridge for like a good 20 minutes, making sure everyone got photos on their own, isolated on this fab bridge. This bridge has been here since World War II. Originally it was built with rope and bamboo and now it has been replaced with steel cable. I'm now back at the hostel after a fab day exploring Bohol's countryside and seeing a lot of different sights in one day. If you did like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It would really help me out if you share and subscribe, but no worries if not. And in the meantime, I will see you again soon with another vlog. Goodbye.